It's kind of D-Day, but it's kind of not. Today is the day that I am leaving, so even though the races are tomorrow, I gotta get everything done today, because once I'm out there, that's it. There's no more messing around. Things gotta be ready. The car is ready to just stick on the start line and make a pass. I have every camera, every battery, everything I own is charged and ready to go. And right now I am putting together a toolkit. Now, how the heck, I obviously don't have room to bring this entire toolbox with me. So how do you put together a toolkit when you're going to a track event? Just try to think about everything that could break or come loose on the whole car. And that is one great thing about building your own car and running your race car on the street as somewhat of a daily driver is a lot of the things that are going to go wrong have already gone wrong. They've already been fixed. They've already been addressed. You gotta be able to jack the car up. You gotta be able to take the wheels off. You gotta be able to tighten any nut and bolt that could come loose on the entire car. You gotta bring zip ties, you gotta bring duct tape. I'm gonna bring my entire soldering kit in case I have any wiring issues. And it is a rush right now because I still gotta do this. I gotta pick the truck up, the trailer. I gotta load the car. So much has to be done today. And of course, I'm still on the clock. So who knows what's gonna happen with all the trucks that are running right now, but it doesn't matter. I just gotta keep plowing through this. Pliers, vice grips, cutters. Try to think of the things that you wouldn't think of. Crescent wrench. Now I don't plan to work on the car with a crescent wrench, but in the event that you need to loosen or tighten something that requires two of the same size wrench and somehow you only brought one of every size, this can save you. What do Turbo Miatas love to do all the time? Start misfiring. That's why I love running a $12 set of plugs. It's easy to just bring a spare set. And of course, all the tools you will need to remove and regap them. What else? Think hard. Think Jeremy Clarkson. I've mended something. What if the car won't start? Jumper pack. Check. Back at Ocean, sorry. Okay, and you want two trucks? A seven o'clock? All right, you got it. Extra fluids. Your car may have never leaked or burnt a drop of anything in its life, but the first time you go to the track, it's gonna find new places to come out of. And it's not because being in boost for 11 seconds or 12 seconds is something that the car's never seen before. The car will just do it to spite you. It's always waiting for an opportunity to pop up with a new issue. Like it's always watching you. Let's get a bath. Hey, did you just get a bath? Is that why you gotta be locked outside? Cause you're wet still? <laughs> Are you coming with? Are you ready for the longest car ride of your life? Yeah. EIR owner ops. Okay, yeah. uh, okay, I'll, that won't take me long to figure out. I'll confirm okay. that How just a few. Yep, yep, I put all 23 on that. Okay, that'd be nice. Estas disponible mañana? Ya estoy ocupado mañana. This is absolutely ridiculous. We have a team basically of three people. The curse is anytime one of us leaves, even for one day, we get like twice as busy that day. And that's exactly what's happening right now. <laughs> it's two o'clock. I haven't even, I'm late to pick up the truck. Here we go. Oh, how late am I? Is what you're asking? I said I was gonna have the car on the trailer and we'd be rolling before it got dark. I'm just putting E85 in the car. The trailer's 20 miles away. So yeah, I'm trying to go quick here. <laughs> I guess I should hope that this actually has 83% ethanol. I mean, it hasn't failed me yet, so. This is legit the fuel that I'm gonna be racing on. What I wanted to try to avoid was driving all night because I really haven't slept enough the entire week. But what I do have going for me is I've been staying up until at least midnight every night, so should be able to make the drive no problem. If not, then we're gonna take an unscheduled rest stop. Oh, this baby's done filling already. Looking at a solid 82.5%. Good enough for me. Almost 9 p.m. We're in Alpine, which is just East County, San Diego. We finally got the trailer hooked up, the car loaded. I've never used this trailer before, so I had to learn how to use this trailer. We got the big freaking mackerel Dodge Ram. Love me a good six cylinder. We got, oh my gosh, the dog has her own hotel in the back. Gotta bring the race dog. And the most important cargo of all, which isn't here right now because she's up getting sushi for us, is Brie is also joining us. 
We got the whole family out here. I'm hoping I don't get too tired, but I got a Thai iced tea. It's gonna be a good time. We got us about a six hour trip. Okay, I'm tired. It's uh, just past one o'clock in the morning. We have about two hours to go. I'll tell you what though, this always puts a smile on my face. Give this baby a little check out. How about you? You've been sleeping the whole way. Mama Bear's tired too. <laughs> She's hiding. Got my snack up, ready to make this last leg of the journey. I just barely found a spot for the truck and trailer. The hotel says it's pet friendly, but that lady was not happy that I had a dog. She didn't see the dog. I just asked her like how much the charge is. She asked me how big the dog was and I said like half the, half the weight of what she actually is. I just waited till the lady disappeared from the front desk and I was like, Shh, get in here. She owns the place. All right, well, race day. Time to unload this bad boy. Wanna get it unloaded early. I'm actually gonna drive it from the hotel to the track so my girlfriend can keep the truck. She's not gonna be stuck at the track event all day. The track event is not till tonight so I can kinda chill, relax, and definitely take a nap. <laughs> I'm doing is setting the car up like I discussed before boost is gonna run at 0% duty cycle all the way to 2.2 seconds and then it's gonna ramp full up soon as second gear hits we're gonna be at full boost timing essentially the same thing it's gonna be uh, 15 degrees retarded for the first 2.3 seconds so that should be into second gear usually I leave my rev limiter at 7700 I'm gonna raise it to 8000 I know the car will do 130 uh, 130 miles per hour at 8000 in fourth so that means I'll be able to cross the line in fourth I won't have to bother shifting into fifth we're gonna turn progressive retard off which means it will run full power all the way up to the limiter I usually have that on as well kind of just to keep it a little bit safe if I'm banging the rev limiter a few times on the street but this is uh this is serious performance stuff so we are freaking going all out for launch control I'm just guessing 4,000 rpm it's gonna be a good starting point this is all about tuning it's called test and tune for a reason and this is why I'm hoping to get I don't know at least six or eight passes tonight tuning I won't need to bring my laptop because I got my new hot boy wireless keyboard to control the tablet, making it way easier to data log, pull logs, make tuning adjustments versus just uh, using the touch screen. I'm gonna go take a nap before the event because I'm really tired. Okay, buddy, I need you now more than ever. We got us about a 20 minute drive to the track. Here goes nothing. I am super excited and also nervous that this thing is not gonna hold together, but I shouldn't be. I shouldn't be nervous, right? I'm not nervous. I'm definitely not nervous. We are out here. We are out here. We in the desert, boys. Can't believe I finally made it. So much work to get here. All to get smoked by a Mustang. Look at this thing. Look at the tires on that thing. Dang, dude, it's like all full of motorhomes. People are serious. Hey, but you know what though? Streetcar, baby. Driving it in. I'm the only car I haven't seen on a trailer yet. I'd say it's like high 80s, maybe 90 degrees. It's not too bad. The track actually doesn't open for about two hours, so I think it will cool off a little bit. Far end good on the way here. Of course, I did not touch boost out of pure paranoia. All right, so the car passed tech with flying colors. I was the first car in line, which is exactly what I wanted and we're all good. But he also called me a virgin. I'm assuming because I brought a Mazda Miata to a drag event, but it's fine. I've heard it before. 
when you're getting up in the line you're starting to get nervous you're seeing the cars run you're only a couple back and then I gotta remember to start this GoPro this GoPro start the draggy start a data log start the audio recording for the exhaust and start this GoPro and then shut it all off after I'm done with the run. There's just so much more that goes into this that meets the eye. So I hope you guys enjoy this. We are getting very close to the first run. kind of sponsorship I can get on board with. my poles, adjusting my mapping a bit, still dropping boost up in the high RPM, and it's running pretty rich above 6800, so I pulled out some fuel. The track is actually very sticky, which is good, grip is good, but it makes the wheels want to hop really bad if you get too aggressive with the launch. They won't spin, they just want to hop, and although this is a really strong dip setup, I am still nervous to break things. the finish. 
Let's see if we got that 125, boys. Thank you. Ah, uh, 124.6. 12.1 at 124.6. I do believe my 60 foot was absolutely horrid. 2.2 two, 60 foot. Even if I go 2.0, this thing will dip into the 11s. I've been sitting in line for about an hour now, and honestly, it just wears you down. Like, I'm tired. You just can't get into a rhythm. Like, yes, I'm making ricer excuses. No, I don't know how to launch my car. But it would be nice to be able to get some hot laps so you can get a, you know, get a, get a feeling for it. I just got back to the hotel. I am super tired. Um, I'll go ahead and review all of the data logs and time slips and everything tomorrow. I'll catch you there. All right, we are back at, actually, hold on. I just, I just received a small, me out of part. All right, so I am back in San Diego, and I know I seemed a little disappointed after making that fourth pass, but I'm actually very happy with how the car performed. I didn't technically break my goal of 11.99 at 125, but I was pretty much right on top of it with a 12.0 at 124.7. And that's about as fast as a 400 horsepower Miata should be able to do in the quarter. And it doesn't seem like a few miles per hour would be a big difference, but it actually takes a lot of horsepower to make up extra speed in the quarter mile. If you guys remember, when I took my old 1.6 setup to the quarter, it did 110.6 miles per hour. And that's only a 14 mile per hour difference between then and now, but it took 150 horsepower to make up that much more speed. Now, if I can just uh, learn how to get the car out of the hole a little bit better, that thing's definitely an 11 second car. Now, I know I said I was gonna review all of the data that I collected from those passes. We got draggy data, data logs, time slips, of course, the footage itself. But after digging through all that stuff, I actually found quite a bit of interesting information. So I think it's worthy of its own short video, which will be out on Monday. So for all my data freaks out there, I'm gonna have that one for you guys. You know I'm not just gonna go out there and be like, well, I mean, like that's how fast the car went. It's just, it just is what it is. I wanna know if the car was performing at its peak performance during those specific passes. And of course, I'm always doing all this sciencey stuff with the car, so I got a lot of information. So I, th I think it's gonna be pretty entertaining to go through all that stuff to give you guys a little bit better understanding. I had a lot of fun getting the car ready and taking it out to this special event. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Don't forget to smash that like button if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you are new, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace out.